Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann. And I was actually um, starting to talk about my uh, GTD 43 folders binder uh, in my setup video of my um, Franklin Covey, but I was starting to talk about this when the video got cut off because my phone ran out of memory. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna be talking about this 43 folder system the way I have adapted it to my use in this video you don't have to watch that video because I haven't even I, I have just started a little introduction about it but I haven't really said anything important yet so you don't have to watch that video if you're interested about how I use the 43 folder system you just watch this video so um, I read about the GTD 43 folder system by David Allen um, about a couple of years ago because I have his book um, and I thought that the system made a lot of sense but you know I, I cannot work with 43 different folders every day I mean they're so big they have to be in a in, in a container and you have to pay, place it on a stable surface you can't bring it around and they're just so big and I, I don't really work very much I don't really work very efficiently with with actual folders although in my computer I have an entire uh, world of files that are, have been set up in folders that are inside of folders that are inside of folders and so on and so forth but in actual real life four to three actual folders um, it does not really work for me until I came across this video by Alexis aka Miss Trenchcoat she's on YouTube and I'll link that video down below um, she uses the 43 folder system inside an A5 file effects and I thought that was such a brilliant idea because why not the only thing that you need to do with 43 folders is that you should be able to reshuffle the order of the folders or whatever um, envelopes you are using to adapt it to your life and so what I thought was I, I don't really like the A5 size it's too small for what I needed to be and um, nothing much would ever fit in there so what I decided was to have this binder uh, it's actually just a white binder that I bought I just cut up this uh, pretty very pretty see-through paper um, see-through paper for uh, uh see-through paper for the uh for the cover and then i'm going to uh because I, I i liked the blue of it and that's why i decided to have the um dark blue uh card material for the inside of the pouches now these ones these are Siegel brand. These are just A5 pouches that I purchased. They're very, very cheap. They came in a pack of 10 and each pack costs 39 pesos and 50 centavos. And that's like less than a dollar. So I have here for my 43 folders. Now why 43 folders? It should have like uh, 31 folders to stand for each day of every given month. And every month can have a variety of uh, uh, any month can have a different number of days in them. Some months can have 28, some months ha can have 21. So you, you make uh, a folder for all 31 days uh, and then you have one folder for every month of the year. So that's 31 days plus 12 months. That equals 43 folders. And I just added one more box, uh, I mean one more folder or pouch for an inbox in which I'm going to just, sorry, throw everything before I can have the time to file them away just so I won't lose them so I will know that they are just in one place and then when I have time maybe at the end of the week or at the end of the day I can put them in the different folders now how it works is that you um, okay hold on this is big I'm gonna try to get this into the frame uh, how it works is uh, Okay, I'm trying to reduce the glare. How it works is, there, I think that's better. How it works is that you put everything that you need to do, for instance, this is already the fifth day of December, and I already have placed everything in here. Um, so um, you put everything on the, 
on the pouches for the months that you need to do for them now when the when the month actually comes when the month is actually happening on the first day or right before the first day of the month you know distribute all the items on this pouch to the days in which you're going to have to be dealing with them so into this pouch you can put bills tickets over here i have my bus ticket when it, because that's going to happen on december 18 and i should put that on the um 18 on the 18th day but right now i'm just starting on this system so i just piled everything on here and right now it's a sunday so i'm gonna be ha i'm gonna have time to distribute everything in its proper places but I just wanted to describe to you guys how to do this so you put everything uh, that is relevant for the month into the pouch that you have assigned for that month so I also have here um, see I already have something for January and then here's a pouch for February so things like that you just put everything on the month that you're gonna need to do them for in the future but when the month is already happening you take out the folder for that and put it in the front and then you take out the contents and distribute them into the days that they're going to happen so once you have already put everything into the days now the pouch for the month will be empty and then you can just um, take this out and put it to the back of the line so you will be left with january in the front now uh, for instance you already put uh, things into the folders for the days you open up the part or the folder in which the day is already happening and you take out all the relevant information and slips that you need to deal with on that particular day and then when the day when the envelope is empty you move it to the back of the line you take this out and you move it to the back of the line so on the front you now have just the folder for the relevant day so that's why it should be in loose leaf and that's why David Allen recommends folders for it and that's why Miss Trenchcoat uh, uses a, an A5 file of facts for it so this is really just basically it this is why I don't have a fold uh, a project section in my file of facts anymore because um, I just put everything on here and um, projects are pretty much done also that's a factor projects are pretty much done so I no longer have a project section in my uh, Franklin Covey that wire keeps getting in the way it's what I use as a microphone sorry you guys so um, what I do is whatever is relevant for the day or the the day and the day after that that's the only thing that I put on here after that everything will have to be filed off and i will need to replace them with all the information and the other slips of paper that have to be relevant for the day that is happening that way everything that is in my uh, binder are only the relevant things and i don't have in here things that are no longer relevant so i think it just makes more sense to me it cuts down on bulk and i really like the binder idea because you know um it's more portable like for instance you have to go away on travel you travel for work but you, you can't bring 43 folders with you but you need your 43 folders anyway so this is more portable and you can actually store it in a drawer and lock it so if you have important receipts here statements of accounts that are confidential you can put it into the binder uh, and then lock it into a drawer so it's more safe that way it's easier to keep it's easier to carry and it's easier to work with if the idea of having four to three whole folders on your desktop actually daunts you so that's it just an idea that i wanted to share with you guys um i hope i wasn't i hope you were able to get the concept of it but it's really really very very easy um, and I suggest that you get David Allen's book, Getting Things Done. It's a very, very thin book. I mean, you can read it in a day. And uh, you can go back to it from time to time just as a refresher to um, look at his tips again to see if whatever he said before that you, wasn't a you weren't able to use, you could use again now, you know, things like that. So that's it. Th just sharing with you guys my 43 folders, actually 43 pouches in a binder. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!